Yeah, it's nothing, nothing like bacon. I think, I think bacon really is the food of the gods. I think that's, that's how we know that God wants us to be happy. It's not because he invented beer, but because we have bacon to go with it. Try that. Yeah. Hi, I'm John Ratzenberger. I make my living uh, normally as an actor, but today I'm gonna be cooking some bacon, cabbage, pine nuts, a little bit of olive oil in there, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic, and you wait and see. I used to cook in, uh, in England when I lived there. I lived in London. My first two years in London, I lived in an abandoned building. And uh, there was a greengrocer nearby whose name was Nizam. And he used to save all his rotted fruits and vegetables for me. And so at the end of the day, I'd go there and uh, he'd, he'd give them all to me. But I would take his stuff home, and this is one of the dishes I would make uh, because it was so cheap. And uh, this is a great, actually they found that this is a cure for stomach ulcers. Cabbage, cabbage juice. How do you turn the stove on? A little olive oil. I'm gonna uh, slice a little bit of this up too. I prefer uh, thick, thick sliced bacon. So I'll just, Lower that a tad, let that cook a little bit in there. And uh, I might as well chop up an onion too while I'm at it. But this is the kind of dish you can throw anything in there. Um, and I've, I've yet decided uh, whether to use uh, tomato sauce or apples. I, I never put both of, the, of them in there. I never use tomato sauce and apples. It's, it's either one or the other. So, you know, it's uh, olive oil, onions, garlic. Uh, cabbage, for that matter, uh, it's, it's, you know, I, I, I think I'd eat a shingle if I could get all those ingredients together. As long as you have olive oil and onions, I really don't think you can go wrong. You know, you can throw the neighbor's cat in there, it's gonna taste okay. And no, I'm probably gonna get a lot of letters from the Humane Society folks. Or, or pita, but boy, if they've never tasted sauteed cat, they don't know what they're missing. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show all this in here too. I never measure, I just, I just eyeball it all the time. Uh, come over here, turn this one on, this puppy. Just, I'm gonna spread that olive oil around a little bit. These lodge pans, I, they're, they're just the best. And also you get a workout when you're working with it. This, this thing's got a weight. Ah. 12 pounds, 10, 12 pounds. So yeah, Nizam would, would save, uh, save these vegetables and all, all the uh, things he couldn't sell for me. And so years later, you know, I traveled to Hollywood and get on a TV show called Cheers, make my way back to London. I was invited back to London for an event and I hadn't seen Nizam for years and years and years and years. I'm gonna put some more bacon in here. Um, because I just do love bacon. Um, so I go back and, I, and I, I said, you know, to the driver, I said, let's go up to Primrose Hill, Regents Park Road. There's a buddy of mine I haven't seen in a long time. I want to see again. So we go up there, the limo pulls up in front. It was, a, I think it was a Bentley, but it was a beautiful car, Rolls Royce or a Bentley. And uh, so I, I step out and I got, a, I got a nice suit on. So I go into Nizam's shop and he's waiting on a lady. So I wait for the transaction and I'm just standing there. He says, yes, sir. Can I help you? Yeah. And uh, I said, Nizam, it's me, John, John Ratzenberger. Joan, my God, I thought you were in jail or dead. He thought I was dead or in jail. So I said, oh no, I'm far from it. And I motion like this to the limo. I try to go, Mr. Big Shot. And he looks at the limo, looks at me, looks at the limo, goes, Oh good, you got yourself a job as a limo driver, did you? I said, well, close. Use a lot of garlic. Another good thing to have in the pantry. If you have garlic, onions, olive oil, once again, you could cook a shingle and I'll eat it. It's just nothing better. Yeah, let's just throw some garlic in there for two. Which, which one should I throw it in, into that one? And uh, here. 
Put some pignoli, as the Italians call it, and pine nuts right in there. Oh, it's just for the taste. It's so good. Onions and bacon here. That looks so good. We got the cabbage going here. I think this part is done. Excuse me just a second. Oh boy. Mm. That's my problem. Sometimes I'll finish this pan before the cabbage is done. So I should not do that this time. See, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you, if you have a peek in there, that's the dish. It's great the way it is, but I'm gonna add the tomato sauce anyway in a bit. Yeah, that works. It's nice, there's a little bit of chunkiness to this. I, I, I don't have a favorite brand of uh, marinara sauce, but that one's very good. I don't put the whole jar in, just enough to give it a taste. You know, you, know, you can save it for another dish or another time. It may not be that good looking, but boy, does that taste good. Yeah, some pepper probably wouldn't be a bad idea. You don't need any salt. There's enough in the bacon. I shouldn't put, you shouldn't really put your fork in there. But. So let's make believe this is the first time I dipped in there. Once again, it's a real good workout if you work with these cast iron pans. Once you taste this dish, you're gonna become a cabbage fan. And what is this, is this root beer? See, I actually don't drink beer. But, uh, oh, you know, what the heck. Let's go ahead, just, to, just as a taste. No, my favorite is an Irish whiskey called Tullamadu. All right, let me grab my fork here. I'm glad I brought my apron today. I'm glad I put the apron on. My, when my daughter was very young, she's 25 now, but when she was young, she said, Dad, why don't you just buy shirts with the food already on it? And I thought, well, I better start wearing an apron. So here we go. The bacon, onion, cabbage sauteed. The pepper was the only spice we used. Oh man. That's so good. I don't understand why there are restaurants dedicated to this dish. It's a cabbage. Well, for the recipe, just click on the link below or give me a call, I'll come over and cook it for you.